what's up and welcome back to my channel so some of you have been asking me for like some hair tutorials and some healthy hair tips i don't know why i had a brain fart so i want to show you guys the cream and like hair mask kind of that i make for my hair when it's natural like this to help moisturize it help like damage breakage help give it protein shine all of the above so let's go ahead and get into it And I got um, a large avocado, just so I didn't have to get more than one. Peel off the skin of the avocado. So just gently grab it and just peel it off. And then your avocado should be like this. Okay, perfect. Take this and just kind of cut it. And I'm gonna cut it inside of that pot. So I have two carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and wash these and then peel them. Cut off the ends. showing you guys the recipe for my hair mask and my leave-in so i'll make sure i put them down below just in case you guys get confused i'm gonna have the avocado and the carrots in here i'm just cleaning my mess i'm gonna go ahead and put this on six and put some extra virgin organic olive oil in there enough to fry it i'm using almost all of it so if you guys saw how much is in here almost all of it cover your pan enough to fry you guys can use other oils but this one is my favorite obviously not vegetable oil but you can use like um coconut oil black seed castor oil anything of that sort but this one is my favorite i feel like this is the best for breakage hair growth and damage so then have it in your pot hmm. show a different angle so bam, go ahead and put it in your pot and then you're gonna let that cook until it's frying and just keep moving everything around. So yeah, just a minute for that. Okay, so it's kind of frying. It should look like that. Just make sure you keep moving it around. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm starting on the base for my mask. I put a little bit of mayo and some egg and I mix that together. Mayo and eggs really good for protein in the hair, keratin, making sure you're adding shine. It helps make the hair a lot more durable, stronger. So a lot of egg and mayo are the same thing. So both moisturizing and like hair repair stunt type of characteristics and qualities just gives you. So if your hair is like super dull, not shiny, if it breaks easily, this and the carrots, the egg and the carrots is really good for that. So now it's all mixed together. I'm not a little bit more mayo, so I want it a little bit chunkier. And then after that, add half a lemon. After you add the mayo, it don't smell that good. So don't think you about to do this. Put this in your hair and leave it in here all day because it's gonna smell horrible. Yeah, that's 
show you a consistency. Kind of thick, kind of thin, and so I'm in between. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish frying. And then also, once it starts frying, make sure you turn the heat down so it doesn't burn the oil. So right now, I have it on about three since it's frying, just so it can get those vitamins and stuff out of the vegetables and into the oil so we want. I just realized that I totally forgot to explain the point of the lemon. You don't have to put lemon, lemon is really optional. I like to lighten my hair, so lemon helps lighten your hair if you're trying to like put highlights in it. Lemon and sun, that's the way to go. So I always just put a little bit of lemon in him, just because you don't hurt. Okay, now it's pretty much done. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So everything's pretty fried, you can see. Oops, everything's pretty fried. You can see that the oil is green now. So I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. And then I'm gonna do it one more time through the Muslim claw, through the cheese claw, whatever you guys call it. this to the bowl and mash these up. Vegetables and the cheese cloth. And squeeze this into your base. like this. Now this, I go ahead and I put in my hair. That was too noisy. I put this in my hair and I comb it out. I like let it sit for about 20-30 minutes with a shower cap on and just use this to moisturize it. After this is done, wash this out and then go follow up with the leave-in that we're going to make. I like to use unrefined shea butter so I'm going to go ahead and use this one. I'll have a link down below in my Amazon so if you guys want to grab the same one. And then I'm going to take a spoon and scoop some of this in here. Okay, so you should have like the same amount of oil that you have shea butter or cocoa butter. You want equal parts. Okay, so that should be enough. All right, so now what you're gonna do is take your mixer and mix this together. I would show you guys more, but it will spill. Okay, so it's just a little even, even, and mix it together. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like when you're all done. You can continue to add more shea butter, cocoa butter, as much as you need until you get this type of whipped consistency and then once you do just store it in the container i used all of this it was like three fourths full so i'm gonna go ahead and just store mine in here and call it a day thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys try it out if you guys try it out and get some good results make sure you guys leave down in the comments how it worked out for you how it went if you guys have any extra questions about the recipe drop them down in the comments i'll make sure i respond to them and again thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button become one of k's babe so this hair mask right here guys you can use for up to two days make sure you store this one in the refrigerator if it's not refrigerated it will go bad and then as far as this one you guys can use this one for up to a month. It does not need to be stored in the refrigerator because there's no food or anything in it. It's just the oil and everything from the carrots and avocado. All right, guys, make sure you store it properly and enjoy. All right, so cover it up, of course. Only obvious why. And then I'm gonna 
take my hair out because I washed it and then slept on it so I don't want to hear anything it looks a little crazy and then what I do honestly is I just take it and it's pretty thin so I pour it on my hand and just get some and after that I start putting it on my hair and start working it through and like I said guys the mayo smells horrible but I promise you it works Alright guys, so it's been 30 minutes, and this is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Nice and moisturized. You guys hear the shower, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and comb it out now. A lot of people use a regular towel like this to dry their hair, and that can cause a lot of breakage, so I recommend using something 100% cotton, like a t-shirt, a life beater, anything of this sort. Yeah, and, or a micro, like, not a micro dermabrasion, a micro fiber towel, the one that's made for your hair. And dry your hair with that. It's a lot better for your hair and for your curls. Okay guys, so I'm running late for an appointment. So this is as dry as it's going to get for now. You guys, try to dry it as much as you can. It's okay if it's a little damp, but you don't want to like drip in water like mine is. But my hair also takes like three days to actually dry, so just hopefully you don't have crazy hair like mine. So just take a little bit, that's a lot, of the shea butter mix that you made, and you can just put this throughout your hair. All right. And then work it all the way through. And, and then I'm just gonna brush into a ponytail. So that's pretty much it. That's how you make it. That's how you use it. Hopefully I can start my own hair care products very soon. But until then, if you guys like the extensions that I had in my Q&A, make sure you guys shop those. If you guys are looking for different types of wigs that I've worn, make sure you shop those too. Buy K.com. Thank you for watching guys, bye.